Oh baby, we're back, by blood alone time, here we go boys! But of course, before we get into today's video, we need to talk about today's sponsor, which is World of Warships. Guys, if you somehow don't know what World of Warships is, this is a free-to-play game that is available for PC with absolute amazing graphics. It has more than 40 unique maps, and it features dynamic weather with stunning new water effects and textures that make the game seas virtually indistinguishable from the real deal. And we're talking about a bunch of different ships that you can play with. Battleships, destroyers, aircraft carriers, cruisers, any of it. You, you could do anything. Now, you can also even do it with submarines. And every month, there's always going to be something new. Whether it's going to be cosmetic, ship classes, or anything like that, you can always enjoy fresh gameplay every month in World of Warships in a massive 12v12 arena. I mean, guys, this is more than just a game. This is like a trip to a museum or something. Because it's not just a bunch of ships from the First or Second World War. There's also a ton of blueprints and designs that never actually saw light. They were never created, but now we've been able to give them life in the game's virtual dockyards. Oh, and did I mention that the game is also available on console? Because yes, yes it is. And so what are you waiting for? While you're watching this video, download the game in the link in my description right now. Because if you do, you're going to get a huge starter pack. And during registration, you have to use the code BRAVO and you're going to get 500 doubloons, 1.5 million credits, 7 days of premium account time, and one free choice of a premium ship after you complete 15 battles. Either the USS Phoenix, the Japanese cruiser Kuma, the French battleship Corbet, the Italian battleship Dante Alighieri, or the HMS Wakeful. So come on, what are you waiting for? Get the game. It's finally time. We got the Great Italian Rework. But we also got an Ethiopia and a Switzerland tree now. Which is nice, but you know what we're in this for, boys. We're in this for the memes, so let's do this. Wait, there's a lot more than just memes in here now. Oh. Oh, no. Uh, guys, Italy. Italy really is a meme. It became a meme. It got worse. It got worse, boys. Oh, no. What about that focus tree? Oh. 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 Look at that. Look at how big this is. We got a lot in here. What are we, we going to do today? Let's see, I want to have some fun in the Balkans, but before that, let's see, I wonder, is there still a Mimi strat here? Will this work? Ethiopian War Logistics. So wait, if I just go ahead and do this, if I just release all these as puppets again, Eritrea, Libya, Somalia, just get, 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 get all those out here. It's like, okay, okay, so we got, we got our puppets now. Can I, oh my god, it still works, we can still bypass it, yes, bypass, 35 days, free focus tree, we're doing it, boys. Alright, army privacy, let's just get into it, let's just, let's just go, go, go. Let's go for early meals and get all that Italian stuff built up. And wow, we're Italian, so we don't appear to know anything. Okay, that's lovely. And now I guess let's just go down and fix the Ethiopia problem then. But now this is really interesting. We have a whole new system with Ethiopia called Escalation, right? So as we are waging war, as we are attacking, the longer this fight takes, the more that war escalates. So as we go out, this if the war drags on way too long, look at this, look at this. We're going to be seeing mass like question of our presence in Italy. We're going to see desertions. Oh God, if Ethiopia can last for a long time, if they could last indefinitely, that will result in a civil war in Italy, it looks like. This pretty much removes the ability for you to farm experience in Ethiopia because otherwise you're going to get bad effects. So you know what? We're going to go ahead and just, we're going to clean this up. Get all these guys, just start the attacks, just really begin pushing. And let's take all of our remaining forces and just like put them down in Ethiopia. We're going to grind the whole army out. Also, aircraft, get everything. I have no idea how to utilize the new air system. I'm going to have to do a lot of videos on that and prepare. But let's go, let's start the meme. Okay, and now we're going to start getting events like this, where we are going to have to complete certain things in a certain time frame, because otherwise the people will get mad at us. Because it's Mussolini, and he made some really grand promises to people about recreating empires, so if we don't do it, it's going to create a little bit of a problem. Also, I just noticed this, but we are going to be losing guns at a much higher rate. It looks like they really upped consumption of supplies, so you're no longer going to have, like, millions of guns for no reason at the end of the game. That's, that's actually going to be a huge change. All right, Army Primacy, no, this is over. Italian highways, let's build those roads, Mussolini. All roads lead to Rome, and even though we have no territory actually connecting any of our stuff. But make roads anyway, we'll build it on water. Okay, so we have to take all of this in, like... A limited time frame, it looks like. Withdraw from Ethiopia. Oh, oh, wait a minute. So if I want to do something different politically, that's how I do it. All 35 days? Yeah, let's get some additional military factories. Let's go. We're going early mill. We're going to be as aggressive as possible in this game. The true Italian way. Fighting in the streets, because why not? Ooh, less artillery cost? Yes, please. I will gladly take that. Anti-air and... Oh my god, wait. That's artillery, anti-take, and anti-air all-cost production redu reduction. Ooh, Italian pasta go boom. Addis Ababa, baby, let's go. 
Also, I'm just realizing this. We ha now have a new thing in here like that are irregular forces drafted up from colonies. Political power gain and economy trade and conscription law reduction. Ooh, that's actually pretty nice. Anyway, let's just take the whole thing. Boom, baby. And let's send these boys home. A success in Ethiopia. Wait, why are we getting this event afterwards? We already conquered it. Shouldn't we have gotten this while the event was still active? Okay, this is an early release. That might actually be a bug. Yeah, success in the north. Six we, we already did it. Okay, well, it, it's early. It could be a bug. It happens. Now we have to pacify Ethiopia. How? I don't think that's going to work out very well for us, to be honest. 60% compliance. Are you kidding me? Occupied territory, civilian oversight. We have to put on local police. We don't even have any of the equipment for any of this. We're going to be at war a lot with everyone around us. Dispersed is probably necessary. All right, there goes the artillery. Now, let's see. Ministry of Africa, that would give us political power. Yeah, we could do this. Or, why should we care about Africa when instead we can immediately get a free spy agency? <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be able to complete this anyway, so it doesn't actually matter. In fact, what do I even care about compliance? Why, why, why do that? Let's just keep more guns. Local police force. Use less forces. Give us more weapons, more guns, more everything. That's fine. Nationalist Spain. You know what? We are not even going to waste any effort over here in Spain. We're not. Actually, who am I kidding? Yes, we are. Let's get some men and air volunteers over there and start having some fun. Also, grand battle plan. Pfft, ah, who needs that? Superior firepower all the way. Triumph in Africa. Already done. Don't mind me just cleaning things up over here. A spy? Sure. How about... Ooh, a seducer and a linguist. Yes, I'll take that. Let's send you on over to Paris. Triumph in Africa. Now, do we want to do anything over here? No. Who cares about the economy? We want to have some fun in the Balkans. Always a good time in the Balkans. You can quote me on that. Oh my god, they are burning through a lot of their equipment fast. And now Balkan dish... Oh wait, we could... S what? Send ultimatum to Yugoslavia. Can we just do that immediately? Hold up. Let's get some more units out because this could be really spicy. Send ultimatum to Yugoslavia. After 14 days, we're going to demand that they, uh, you know, become ours. Let's do it. Who are they allied with? France and everyone. We're doing this, boys. Hyper aggressive. Italy ambitions. Here we go. And in the meantime, I'm going to save all that because I kind of don't want to deal with any other politics side because we're going to be fighting a lot. We're going to need some more military equipment and also steel. I still don't quite understand Navy, so screw it. We're death stacking. And let's see what they do. Answers refuse. All right, well, let's just go then. Let's just attack. Why not? France, Czechoslovakia, and Romania, all enemies. Sure, why not? Oh, shoot, wow, we are breaking through down here. Ooh, I better watch this. Okay, looks like we actually have air superiority, do we? We're doing pretty well over here, actually. Oh, God, we are losing more men over here. All right, well, we gotta go quick. If you could just, like, stop attacking for, like, five minutes to let me heal, please. Since we're at war with France, let's go ahead and get our military at least kind of partially fixed, I guess. And there we go, there's a huge portion of the French military just trapped. You guys doing okay over here? Yeah, you're doing fine. What are our losses at now? Okay, we've lost a good amount of men, but Yugoslavia, you guys are uh, kind of bleeding a little bit over here. And I think I'm fine with that. As I said, some of you may die, but that is a sacrifice I'm willing to make. Just literally slogging it out here for months at a time. We may have lost 60,000, but we've killed around 300 something thousand. I'd say that's a success. For the Italians, the bar is pretty low, not gonna lie. Oh, and then there goes France. And honestly, I don't want to have to control a lot of this. No, 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 no. So what I'm going to do instead, can I just puppet that? Is that going to, that's going to puppet these. Wait, so I can just click and puppet everything? Oh my God, this is so nice. Wait a minute. So I can just puppet. So what is that going to do? I puppet Free France and Goa. Oh no, wait, that creates one puppet. No, that's not what we want to do. Lebanon. No, 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 no. We, we are going to go ahead. We're going to, we're going to puppet all these though. We are going to create a ton of puppet states just to crank out factories and not have to do anything. I will directly take everything in Africa as well as Syria. And we're just gonna take all the Frenchy parts. And we're just gonna puppet literally everything else because why not? Will it lag my game? Yes. Do I care? No. Will I take all of France's navy? Also yes. Because that is now a thing that you can do in this DLC. And goodbye France. Oh, look at all of this beautiful, beautiful Africa. Yeah, I don't wanna waste any manpower garrisoning any of that, but simultaneously, hey, that means that we're gonna be able to get a ton of factories once they actually start going through any of this stuff. Now we just take in this entire army, march them down south, and prepare for more fun. Because I think it's time for a little bit of an Albanian surprise, so to speak. Oh, okay, go wait. As soon as I said that, Czechoslovakia joined the Allies. Which means that I am now at war with gonna be Britain too. Son of a bitch! <laughs> Looks like that old cheesy strat doesn't work as well anymore. Alright, let's crank out some defensive units. Which means I now can't get my fleet out of the goddamn Mediterranean! Ah! Oh, son of a bitch. Wait, what? The fall of Ulega. So wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. 
So that's going to damage. Effects will be applied every time Italy loses control of a non-core state to an enemy. Wait, 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 wait. So if I start losing any kind of territory or cities, I am going to be in trouble? But half of my empire is not protected. Oh my god, no. Guys, for the first time ever, I think I'm actually going to have to start over because I'm going to lose all of this stuff almost immediately to the United Kingdom. I thought I could at least sacrifice some of my territory and be fine. Shit. Okay, rewind. Let's start this thing over fresh now, shall we? All right, what do we learn from this? The early mill strategy doesn't build as much when you're trying to be hyper aggressive because apparently the AI is a lot smarter and won't let you just abuse things anymore. In a way, I'm happy. I'm happy. It makes things more interesting. But also, that is a pain in the ass because I now have to redo like an hour and a half's worth of work. All right, now the big thing is we are going to take a bunch of territory. Which, yeah, if I take all that, that is going to drive it up to 51%. But, 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 if we can reduce things, if I just give back all of this land, if I liberate literally everything in Africa and China and Asia, but then I take all of the French states, that means that my the world tension is not going to spike anymore. So I can get all of France and not have world tension go up, which would actually cause powers to join the ally. I do want to take their navy though. That's going to drive it up to 27%. I think, I think if we did this, it would be okay. All right, that total war is going to increase our war tension by 1.6%. God damn it, I love this new peace system. I am not the great colonizer of Africa. I am the great freedom provider. I am Italy. <laughs> this has got to be one of the most memey things I think I could ever do. And yep, there's the, going to be the entire Yugoslavian army just trapped. Yep, this train absolutely has no brakes. Wait, what the heck? Why am I missing so much artillery here, but then simultaneously I am stockpiling it here? What? Did I miss something? Did something happen? And now my supreme Italian navy of 280 ships. We got a carrier, seven battleships, so many heavy cruisers, light cruisers. Baby, I love stripping navies. Does that sound weird? And there goes Yugoslavia. Now, now, big question. Do we also release them? Because I think the British might come after us otherwise. There's like no difference between puppeting them and taking them. It's a risk, F it, we're balling. Let's see what happens. And now for the bullshit that is Romania. Strengthen the military. Wait, what does that require? We have to have 750,000 manpower in the field. Mussolini. That is going to be a little bit difficult. And there we go. There's a bunch of Romanians trapped. How am I still low on guns? I am producing so many. It says I have a stockpile. Screw it. We're balling. I don't even care. Wait, am I already out of guns? Oh my god, I ran out of guns. I wasn't even recruiting any men. I had a surplus of 10,000. What happened? Okay, so interesting thing to know in this patch. If you are going to play this, guns disappear very quickly. I went from having a 10k surplus to a minus 2k deficit in the span of like three months. And that is while producing 130 guns a day. The game is way more punishing now. Still, we're losing so much to attrition, we have to actually take this. Also, what, what, I, again, I'm producing so much artillery, it says that I have a huge surplus of it, but it's not going to my troops! What is going on here? I guess we just gotta increase production then. I don't know. I, I, I don't know what to do. And Ethiopia still resists. Buddy, I can't do anything. The Ethiopians don't want to be Italian. I don't know why. It's like free pasta for everyone. I don't know. But screw it. I, I, I can't wait here anymore. That We are just bleeding through manpower and equipment so damn fast. I, I don't even know how to judge this. Okay, there we go. There's Romania. I don't even want any of this land. All right, we're just, we're just puppeting you. Romania, deal with it. I don't care. Okay, I have to try this as an experiment because none of this is working. Let's cancel this production. I get- Wait a minute. Was I- I was producing anti-air the entire time! Are you kidding me? No wonder it wasn't replenishing. I thought I was making artillery. I am so annoyed. I thought it was glitched. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. Czechoslovakia has joined the allies. Are you kidding me, Czechoslovakia? I go through all that trouble and now you do this. Well, listen, if you're going to do that, then Germany, do you want in on the party? Me, the freedom lover of Africa. The man who gave all of Africa its freedom. The filthy colonizers. These guys, guys, these filthy colonizers, just they, they don't want freedom. They don't want freedom for people. Oh, God damn it. Now I'm at war with everyone here. And of course, the entire time that this happens, I am like two years behind on my artillery production. I mean, in the end, at least I can afford to add anti-air from everyone since I've been producing that the entire time. And I'm probably gonna need that too, since now we have to deal with British air. Oh great, I'm now losing control of all of my states in Ethiopia. Oh, and there goes Czechoslovakia, okay. Now let's just prepare for a little fun surprise over on this side. And now check it, we have 280 ships here. There is physically no way that they will be able to have more men than us on this side. If I can just last 60 more days, we can take out Britain. Because that's just it. If you seize the French Navy from the beginning, now that that is a feature, it completely changes the balance of the game. Because before, Germany had to build their own navy. But now, 
Germany, if they knock out or start an early war with France, that just means that if you can get France before France joins the Allies, then you're going to be able to go ahead and seize their navy and use that to take out the United Kingdom. You don't even need to focus on building a whole bunch of naval bombers anymore. It's just that simple. Man, they're bombing the shit out of me because I just haven't been had any chance to build an actual air force. Oh no, they're actually taking me out here. Well, since the big war is happening, we might as well start clearing out all the little fun parts of the Balkans. Ah, but I don't feel like doing a focus tree at this point. I know it gives me the options, but you don't really need it at this point when you're already at war with, with Britain. So let's just justify then. Oh god, and as we lose all these tiny little states all around us, it's causing us to shift more towards the balance of fascism. Okay, uh, no, we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and get all these done. Oh look, we justified on <laughs> Greece! I think I could also go after Bulgaria right now, I think that would be fine. Albania yields- oh, 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 that's gonna allow us to push. Alright, now we got a justification on Sofia, so let's just go ahead and go, I guess. And now I guess let's just justify on Turkey then, because why, why not? We could, we could just do this. We could just go ahead and do this! I think as soon as we actually do that, that's gonna finish everything off. Wait, expand the Air Force. What do we need now? I don't want to expand my Air Force. We need five, 300 new fighters. Okay, well, I haven't done anything with that. And there's our DNA, which means let's go after Turkey, even though we're not, like, there at all. Why not? Are they, are they gonna join the Allies? Yeah, they join the Allies. Well, you know what? Now that they're part of the Allies, and I'm pretty sure they're gonna send men to the front, then that means we can just go ahead and do a little Mimi Strat, because guess what? We got the entire French Navy. Yes, which immediately gives us 56% supremacy, <laughs> because we have it. So that means we could actually just, you know, launch. It's just, it's going. We made it across. The death of the Pope. Oh, wait, the Pope is in here now? Interesting. I mean, I guess there's just nothing stopping us from going on to London here at this point then. Because now we can just take this entire front line, put it here, and say, hey, let's go. <laughs> that was, that, that, that was an Italian joke. I don't think a very good one, necessarily. Yep. Nothing like just cruising on through here. I don't like what am I even doing at this point? This is this is ridiculous. Yep, just washing the green plague, just take over Britain. Are we losing ships? Oh, we are kind of losing some ships. Ah, you know what? It's fine. They're French. Who cares? And there goes the United Kingdom. Which wait, does that take everything? That takes everything. Yes. <laughs> All right, well, I guess first things first, let's just go ahead and take everything that I know I'm going to need. Huh, so via the command system, it looks like Italy is demanding, so German Reich is also demanding. So wait, do I, do I need to like put more? Italy takes us, no, it, I already have it selected. Would that give it back? I'm actually not sure what that's gonna do. Instead, I'm gonna focus all of my efforts over here. Hey, hey, look at that, look, look at that, look at that system. We were able to actually contest and take all this territory. That is so lovely. That is so, so very lovely. And now for the first time ever, looking out at this DLC, now I can do what I always wanted to do. Design a plane. Now for anyone confused and doesn't know what's going on, the way they redesign air systems is that now it's like tanks. You get the basic frame, right? And then on that frame, you then add weapons and everything else you want. At this point, we're Italians, right? I don't think there's anything else that we're really going to want to do. I haven't had any other stuff to really spend my points on, anything. So I'm pretty sure... All I need to do now is just really hone in on building a nice airplane. Something that I can use to take out the Germans. Wait, no, should secret. Now, honestly, it's March of 1939. What, literally, what else am I supposed to do with this? Poland refuses the German ultimatum. Hmm, well, I mean, it is what it is. Like, what else can I even do except- Wait a minute. Hungry. Hungry! 15 days! Oh, well, I don't mind if I do! Hello, are you hungry for some pasta? That was really bad. Okay, I, please don't dislike this video just because of that. Come on, come on. I guess we'll just demand the Belarus Islands and see whether or not they'll actually accept. I don't know if that'll let me do anything or not, but hey, it's worth a shot. Because worse comes to worse, now that we actually have that option, we can just take Spain out if they don't want to comply. Oh, hey, wow, they went ahead and accepted it. Interesting. I genuinely wasn't expecting them to give in, but you know, it is what it is, I guess. Wait, I could justify on them and it would only last 15 days again. <gasps> Oh, well, I guess it doesn't matter if you gave me the islands then. Goodbye, Spain. It was lovely knowing you. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Wow. They are just going. <laughs> they can't hold back. So you know what? You know what? Let's start focusing on air. This entire thing is going to be about air. That's what we're going to do. We are going to style on the Germans in the best way we possibly can. That's what the plan is. Wait, can I take the Spanish Navy too? Oh my god, I can get the entire Spanish Navy too. How many, how many do I get? Multiplied by one. Okay, 50% of the screen ships. We're gonna get the entire Spanish. We're collecting all the navies like Pokemon. Wait, I forgot to collect the British Navy. Oh, they, that probably all went to, that probably all went to Germany. Germany has the entire British Navy. And now we just plan for 
the fun. Germany, I don't think I'm going to accept your call to arms here for reasons. It's not really a big deal. It's just there's reasons why. I'm, go I'm just going to say that. Expand Rome Flying School. Damn, there's just so many different things to choose from. Wait, why can I support the Hungarian claim to avoid no, when I kind of, um, I kind of killed them. The Duce has decided to show the superiority of the fascist system for industry. Italian industry. Well, I mean, it's looking pretty decent, but what's the mission? We, we need advanced machine tools. Really? Okay, why not? That, that'll show the world. Oh my god, wait, I could get so far ahead in, like, jet aircraft. Mexico? How dare you embargo me? Listen, I have done nothing wrong. Europe is a very peaceful place now. Now I want to see if Cass is king, so let's make some true, real Cass here. Small Bombay, small Bombay, small- oh wait, oh, I can't have more than three? Wait, is it gonna let me? No, it says I can't have more than two. Okay, how about, can I have bomb locks? Will that still let me? The agility is so bad, it's my- it's 41.5, but what is the ground attack on that? Weight exceeds thrust, okay, so we can't do anything there. What about a two engine? Make it a super expensive one, right? Non-stack dive brakes, dude, I don't even know what half of these things are doing in here. So we, we, gotta, we gotta take a look at this. So the basic gist of it is that when you are designing a plane, right, you can determine what type of plane it's going to be based off the weapon you equip. In this case, this is a pure cast design. It cannot do anything against fighters, but this will wreak havoc on anything that's on the ground, right? I mean, close air support, that thing is going to knock, it's gonna do 22 damage. That That's huge, I think. I don't really know yet, we'll have to see. All right, so... This plane is gonna be called Cass is King. Let's just test, I don't know if it's gonna work. We're, we're just gonna see. At the same time, we gotta make a fighter. Let's see, fighter weapons, uh, heavy machine guns, light machine guns, oh my God. Okay, we can make this super heavy, but like also at the same time, it's gonna have a number of issues. Do we want, do, am, I, am I getting another technology? Engines, oh shoot, wait, I could have gotten a better engine. Shoot, okay, 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 okay. Never mind, never mind. That one thing that we made here before, let's, let, let, damn, we're gonna, we're gonna produce some of these, but we need to get the next level research. Extraction, yeah, who needs extraction? I want a better engine. Let's, let's do that. We're gonna build all that up, we're gonna get a huge amount of the stuff, and then we're gonna switch things over. All right, there's engines three, which means, yeah, let's, let's create a variant of this. Uh, I completely forgot to do that. Two engine, two engines three. All right, make that even more expensive, right? Right? But max speed? Yeah, that should help us. Doesn't help with agility, but it does drastically increase thrust. Which means, we could just go ahead and make this thing super beefy, so it actually has some protection. Two heavy machine guns, Cass is king, it won't be able to be touched. And at the same time, because of that, improved small airframe, let's see. I don't even know if I'm doing any of this right, or if any of this matters. So check it out, we're gonna go with four heavy machine guns. We're gonna go with four light machine guns. So it's gonna have- this- this thing is just gonna be pure air- like firepower. And then two cannons. Yeah, you know what, screw it. This thing is gonna be the supreme. It's gonna be all gun. All gun. In fact, instead of the heavy machine gun, could I do two cannons again? I can, it just reduces its overall agility. You know, we're, we're gonna go one of each. We're gonna go one of each. This thing is gonna have a lot of gun. All right, so the weight has to be more than the thrust. It doesn't matter. I, okay, so the thrust, for whatever reason, does not affect agility, which means that if I just added drop tanks to extend the range, that's it. That's the pure even... Okay, so that's what matters. I didn't even have to build the double engine in the other one. So actually, if I went back to this for the variant, because it has two, can I get away with a singular? I could. And that's going to drastically reduce the cost. By, I mean, by it's three production, but that's still a lot. No, never mind. The weight is slightly more. It does actually need the two if I'm doing what that does. Okay, let's just make a bunch of them. Because now with these fighters, once all these are out... I'm just gonna wait for the Soviets to have war declared on them, and I think that I'll be able to take care of everything. God, okay, so giving that mission gives technological bonuses? Dude, that is really strong. When you're outside of a focus, and now that still is gonna give you technology bonuses on things that, like, that's great. That's great, that means, oh my god, that is a powerful mission thing. I love that about the DLC. Why can't every nation get something like that? That is good. Because now that's gonna allow me to get a 50% bonus towards the next thing. And so let's just... Keep cranking out mills, why not? We're just gonna keep on producing planes, like, what else are we gonna do? Like, honestly, at this point, I could take out the Germans, but I want them to declare on the Soviets. I really want them to declare war on the Soviets. Wait a minute, what is this? Mare Nostrum. Wait, because we control all of it? Oh, that gives us such big bonuses. Yes, our ocean. Oh, and Germany breaks the Molotov Ribbentrop Pact. Who would have thought? That seems so odd. I, d I don't know why they would do that, but hey, you know what, Germany? I think it's time for me to go. I just, I feel like this was not a good thing for us, you know? Well, Germany, how's that going? Mm, 
That's a, it's a lot of stuff everywhere here. I'm wondering if you ever predicted that the Italians would be coming from your booty. Oh man, oh wow, they're actually doing some really bad damage to me. Really? I was not anticipating that they would actually be able to stop me over here considering that uh, I have a lot more power. I was not expecting that I would have lost 179,000 men already. Um, that is actually quite a lot. Huh. We might need more men for this. Don't quote me on it, but we might. Okay, there's a lot more happening here than I actually kind of wanted. Oh wow, that is getting way more spread out than I anticipated. Huh, 400,000 losses. Oh, you'd never said the Italians wouldn't fight because they did, just not in the right way. All right, well, if we just do this and make them bleed all of their manpower and equipment, then I guess that'll be fine. Because it actually looks like they are running out of equipment. They don't have the ability to produce more. Wait, deposing Mussolini. Mussolini got deposed! How? Wait, what territory? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, it's because of all the German right territory. I completely forgot about that. Oh, no. Quick, we got to finish this war fast. <laughs> Mussolini's dreams are crumbling. It's like as Italy. It's like as Italy. You have to do everything perfectly. If you don't, the fact that your non-core territory is affected is just awful. Oh my god, but thank god it's finally over, because I think that we're about to experience something pretty bad here. That's all of that, but now we have a fascist council. I, I, I don't know what's gonna happen, because now we can get the Italian legions and everything else in here, but it's over. We There we go. Mare Nostrum. We formed it. We have the Roman Empire, except also it's led by a fascist council. Well, everyone, I think I'm done. Uh, Mussolini, unfortunately, did not get to live out his wet dream because of the mechanic that happens that every time you lose any non-core territory at all, you lose 5% support for Mussolini. So as Italy, you quite literally can't lose anything or else you get punished. But that's it. That's the end. Everyone, thank you so very much for watching. I hope you all have a good rest of your day. I appreciate you all for watching, and please let me know what it is we should do next. Have a good rest of your day, guys. Bye.